It is the worm of all worms. Fairly decent fish. Some good ones like that right there, they like it. Got my favorite worm in the world on this point right here. The old seven inch cutter worm. That's a nice one. Look at that one go. Come to me right now. That's a, look at there. How about that? Get my day going with one like that. What a nice fish. Hey, Tackle Warehouse Pro Mark Menendez here with you. Got my favorite worm in the world on this right here. The old seven inch cutter worm. Done well with it in tournaments. And good ones like that right there, they like it. That's the best kind, one that gets caught on that thing. Just caught that good one on one of my favorite worms ever. This is the seven inch cutter worm. And the key feature about this worm is that it's a basic big body, big profile and the rage flange on the back of the tail, equivalent to like a number four Colorado blade on a spinnerbait. That tail moves a lot of water as it falls. My key presentation is letting that bait fall next to a piece of vertical cover, brush pile, a stump, a lay down, a dock piling, whatever it is, but that tail is the whole thing. Big bulk, big body that moves a lot of water. I use a five aught straight shank gamakatsu in it and somewhere between a five sixteenths and a three sixteenths is my favorite weight size on this bait. With a five sixteenths, I can fish the bait shallow and or fish it out in 15, 18, 20 feet of water if I need it. So it's the all around combination and a great worm to catch bigger than average fish. Yeah, hey, little bitty guy. That bit it just like a little old bitty bass would bite him. He just pecked and pecked and pecked. And I finally decided to set the hook. Fairly decent fish. There's a little flat spot there and it hit the bottom. I just let it lay. I started it moving and then it just tink, 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 tink. Almost felt like a bluegill. Then he finally moved it. Nice bass. The cool thing about this big old worm is its versatility. I can fish it on the fall. I can pitch it in the cover. I can retrieve it like a spinnerbait. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. And the other thing I really like about this bait, this is the worm I just caught that last fish on. It tore the end of my worm. Bite a little bit of the worm off, re-rig it on here, Texas rig, come in a quarter inch, come out of the hook, slide it over the hook eye, bend the hook back towards the worm. I want the tip of the tail to be up. That helps the worm swim some more. Next to cover, I like it vertical. I like to jig it in the cover. And then the final way I like to fish it is like a spinnerbait. Throw it out there and literally just wind it. Just like that one did right there. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. Look at that one go. It's the only bait that I know of that I can fish it like a spinnerbait. Hey, gummy, that's a good one. Five odd hooks got him good. Let's just quit messing around here. Look at there. On a long cast, it's more versatile than just about any soft plastic I've got in the boat. This one hit it, just winding it like a spinnerbait. I pitched it by the dock and caught one. Caught one on a little flat point with it. It is the worm of all worms for me on the Elite Series for sure. That's just amazing. All the things I can do with this thing. Another decent fish. A hot one. My favorite worm of all times right there. You can use it 10,000 different ways. To see all the good stuff that I use here and how I fish this worm, check it out on Tackle Warehouse.